into making your move here, mm -hmm. um, it's not so much that the wrists are opening the face, mm -hmm. it's that your forearms are rolling the club behind you. Mm -hmm. And so now this big heavy part at the end of the shaft, as it goes back, you've got your hands a little bit, well, I'd say they're, they're not too bad in terms of the depth of where they get, but they're fairly far behind you, mm -hmm. right? And then the club head, since we see so much shaft, the shaft isn't hinged as much. Mm -hmm. So as this comes down, it comes down, you know, without a lot of hinge, let mm -hmm. a lot of leverage on it, and it's kind of sweeping across the ground, mm -hmm. right? It's not digging into the ground. Mm -hmm. um, through the shot here, as you start to swing through, the club exits your body really well. Like it's very square, but at this stage of the game, I'd want to see you know you your lower body more into a finish. Mm -hmm. um, so the things I'd like to work on today is trying to get you more rotated earlier in your swing. Like I want to see that lower body when the golf club's like, well, there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your arms have outraced your lower body, and then. Here in the backswing today, I think all I'd like to do is get less shaft visible because you've hinged it more, Got it. right? And then from there, as you take this down, it's gonna have more leverage to dig into the ground. Cool. You know, but from this point of view, like if the shaft looks really good, like it's online, mm -hmm. it's just too far from you. Mm -hmm. So we're not getting the thump into the ground because the divot's gonna be massive. It's so important to hit the ball solid mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. So we're gonna go more wrist hinge here. Cool. And then I need you to try to feel as though that maybe it's either not rushing the club back to the ball or getting your lower body more there almost at impact okay. so we're going to see a little bit of a lower finish with your arms today get your body turned a little bit more and then less shaft here and all that's going to do is increase your contact mm -hmm. take a divot well improve your contact take a divot maybe launch it lower to mm -hmm. begin with but then it's going to go farther in the end Got it. all pretty good things Perfect. um so let's go back to your spot Trying to get first of all, like you might find it more weird in the backswing that this happens earlier. So you'll notice that my arms haven't even left the outside of my foot yet, but I've got this thing hinged up as far as I can take it. And from there, as you keep turning your body, we're going to try and get it to maintain or just get this a little more that way and less that way. Okay? So from there, we want to try and feel first of all that you can drop that into the ground. So we're going to practice take thumping into the ground. Right? And at the same time, feeling as though that you can get your right leg, right knee, right thigh, over this front shoe. Here, throw it into the ground and push forward. And then the finish position is going to be a little bit more, like I said, lower with the arms. Right, But you're going to have more turn with the club still lower. Meaning that you'll actually be turning as this club goes through. Okay, We don't want to use our arms to like take the golf club and put it past the ball in the direction of the target. The arms are really only supposed to go up and down. But if I take my right knee and put it over my left shoe as I throw down just like this, look where it hit. Right? So the, the swing is a combination of up and down and around like that. So vertical and horizontal. And what that's going to create is this swing plane on an angle. Yep. Right? Like just like if you took a pen and you went like this along a piece of paper and then pushed down, right? It's the two combined that make the angle, right? Basic stuff. So from here in your in your backswing, I want to see if we can increase your arm speed going down to the ground and then increase your timing of the knee going over your front foot so we can get the thump over here. But I don't want to take my arms and hands and put them over there because all that's going to do is make it outrace my body. Make sense? So what you're saying is like hand, your hands are taking you here and then your right leg going to over your, your left side. Yeah. Thighs. Like I feel like I chop down like I'm chopping wood over here as I get my right leg over my left foot. And that changes my chop from down here. I'm still going this way relative to my body, right? But as I turn, I, I hit at a different spot, right? Okay, so set up your shot. Let's work on this takeaway stuff. Your grip's pretty good. Yeah. So just hinge it back and stop. Okay, so we want to try and feel like you have a full hinge with your hands here in front of your leg. One more time. Take it over the top and put the right knee over your foot. Hey, look at that divot. Okay.
around, do that again, and then smash into the ground with your getting into your finish. Awesome, like very, very good. Hold your finish on this next one. Like hold it for like 10 seconds, so I'm gonna move you. Okay, okay hold it. So tighter. This ankle bone to the ground. Yeah. one that like not drywall yeah. but like find a wall and be like maybe six or seven inches from the wall and try and make a backswing where the club doesn't get to the wall too far behind me, then from there, it's an awkward lift. But if I can keep that thing more out there in front of me that way, now when I change direction, it falls behind me. And that's what we feel lag is. We feel that thing go from this side of our hands to that side of our hands, and then we can go after it. So yeah, feeling as though that the wrist hinge isn't so much to make the shaft even with your toe line, it's almost taking the Arco sensor and pointing it at shoe.
this to try. So it's gonna go, right? Hinge it up so where this points at you, okay? And then from there, as you take it to the top, I want you to try to and whip it down. Because that's where the arm speed goes. same area. Hey, cool. Yes. So like this motion stops before the club gets to the ball. But as long as you feel like you keep turning your body, it'll move it past the ball. in that spot all uh -huh. the way through like we need the legs together and your lower body finished yeah. made it there okay so I want to see some drills where we get full hinge right away right full hinge right away before the arms move before your pivot happens any of that stuff just full hinge and then from there as we take it up I want to see how close to the target you can get the club head like John Daly backswing okay. like maybe that club head's gonna hinge up so much uh -huh. that it ends up coming down and it's like below your face nice. over there that'd be fine and then because I think it's here, this is why you power it with your arms and your body stops moving right uh -huh. here, right? Your body's basically stabilizing to allow your arms to launch. Uh -huh. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's tackle that. squeezing the grip tight as long as it doesn't lock out your wrists and start to yeah that's got to be softer okay so hinge it back keep your forearm soft okay so this is gonna feel like it bends back the most it can and if I put a T through right here into your palm that T points down at the ball right so fully bent back fully cocked up two different motions cocking up mm -hmm. bending back that's one more time this will this will feel like it drops a bit yeah. too. So again, and we still want that feel of the uh, a little the, bit, yeah, but not as much as the iron. No, because if it gets inside a little bit here, you're gonna have a better chance of swinging out on it. Mm -hmm. But the more you swing out on with the iron, the less we're gonna hit yeah. the ground. Okay. I mean, I don't want to give you two ideas, but yeah. pretty close. One more time. Again. There you go. That's the motion. Up to here. Okay. Now I need the 
these two things to get closer together. Take it up. Yeah, look at the ball. Awesome. Here, do what you got to do to get the ball out of your body into the finish. So turn your body. Good. Good. Keep going. Hold it there. So from here on in, all wrist, all flip, all everything. You got it. That's terrific. Okay, so just this one swing, just make sure this happens early. Right? It'll feel like it's slower with your body in the takeaway. Therefore, it might feel like the whole swing takes more time. to feel floppy like even feel like the elbows bend and it just gets floppy like loose like spaghetti noodles good so when it comes to what the arms are supposed to do if our if my arms are trying to like be a leader in the motion that's too stiff and it kind of makes my chest freeze up but what it doesn't do is it doesn't let us create a lag from the arm to the chest and that lag where you can see it here that if I move my arm that way and move my chest toward the target it kind of sucks in and then flies off right like if I had to backhand slap you and I just did that it wouldn't hurt but if I turn my body and use my arm as a weight and crank it knocked out so that's kind of the motion but it has to be soft to do that like from here all the way up to here feel like it stays soft and you're flinging your arms around your body
arms back and fling the arms through and let your body lead, okay? So far I'm like... just a little shot nothing crazy to it but I feel as though with this shot that the butt of the club doesn't pass the ball see it's in front stays in front okay so it's not something where we're taking the grip to go back this way we got the hinge but this went too far back so it's gonna feel like right grip of the club stays in front of the ball hinge hit not gonna go far it's gonna go pretty low and then the next one is gonna feel as though that as you hinge, you take your arms back, but I don't want them to go too far past your foot. So here, chip. All right, one more time. Not too far past your foot. Hinge, chip, okay? And then the last one, I want you to feel like you take your arm about waist high with a full hinge. This is gonna feel short to you, right? Like that's all, that's the only, the height I can take it, boom. All right, and then from there, same thing on the follow through. That's the longest shot, and what did that go? Like 45 or 50 yards? It's not much to it. And these are shots you can use around the green. Chip. Right? Like, I mean, if we looked at the green right here, hinge, click. Right? It's not going far. If I need to add a little height to that, I take my arms back a couple inches. Hinge. Oh, higher. And then the other one that goes about waist high. Hinge. Right, but I feel like each one of those finishes is here, right? So my arms haven't passed my front foot, but I've given it the big golf digest red X of flipping it, okay? Because this is like feeling as though that we're doing this, just like that. Like if this was tied to you, it can't really go anywhere. I just want that. So flippy, flippy. Right? And if you get jerky with it, you'll stub it, you'll scream it across the green. It has to be really soft. Okay? Yeah. Go with that one. Nice. So I'd call that the middle one. Okay, okay one more time. Way to go, that's the short one. Okay, so now we're gonna go even farther. So here to here. Okay, so just a little quick. And when I say quick, it was quick with your arms. Your arms went that way a little too quick. Soften the arms up, get it all in the wrist and the hands. Your body will react to the hands doing their thing. So for yep. this, am I doing anything with my... Uh, nope, Whatever, wherever it goes, it goes. Beautiful. And that's the only thing that I would get you to do with your wedge because that's going to start to teach you and give you the feeling of doing lots of this, which is what we're trying to build into your swing. Yeah. But, you know, if, if we do something, whether it's like conceptual, like this is what I think I'm supposed to be doing, which is 90% of everybody's swing anyway. Yeah. Like I can change swings over the phone by changing the concept. If we can try to feel as though that you're doing that in your swing, this way and that way, and just take the arms back farther with your body, I can almost take your arms and glue them to your chest like this, where they never move. All right, and that's when you see people with stuff under their armpits holding it in, All right? So it's an easier way to think about this by saying, like, take my arms, put them over my pecs. They're that far apart, and I never want them to separate. So from here, the only way that I can move my arms is if my rib cage turns around and around and I get my speed from my hands and my wrists. Ba like, yeah. And you know, that's like, that's all the instruction that's out there. It's like, oh, just take the hands out and do it with your shoulders. But then we watch like Phil Mickelson, who doesn't even move his body before the club's totally hinged, right? All the best wedge players next to Jason Day Right? Jason Day is a wonderful wedge player, and he takes that idea. Big 
big turn of the ribs and tilt and all that stuff and a big turn on that side and it's almost like it's a belly match, right? He's great, no problem. Second best guy on tour, Luke Donald, total opposite, right? Luke Donald's completely the opposite of Jason Day. And they both, they're both the two best in the world by a long shot. Right? Like, they're both, they're both great shots to do. But based on where you're coming from, you have a little too much Jason Day in the move. And it's not bad to go that route, but it's not going to be powerful for you. He can do it because he doesn't do that with his driver when he hits it far. So feeling as though that you've got the arms like staying in front of your torso and you've got to tur turn your torso to make this golf club move from your view. Mm -hmm. See where the club went? Yep. Out, not in. Oops. It's almost like you're going to feel like it loops a bit. Out, under, through. Feel like you've got that move I think that that's going to be the the best thing to isolate your hand action through the shot yeah. and then I mean from there it's just trying to like you could go home make a big backswing and what do you do to get the club to touch your shoulder here and then from there as soon as you get your right leg going it's going to throw that thing out and there's the release 